Dog Boat Sales are delighted to present Orion, a Activa Sky Lounge 53 foot motor yacht. Now, uh, this vessel is uh, absolutely superb. It's um, a uh, semi-displacement uh, performance cruiser and uh, it was built in Taiwan but using a lot of imported New Zealand materials. Some great shots here of the boat exiting um, one of Southern Tasmania's most popular anchorages and we've even thrown in some seals and dolphins for effect. But uh, it really shows the um, lovely lines of the boat underway. As we go on board we're into the saloon area here and we're saying the uh, leather lounges accommodate um, around seven people which they would comfortably in, and uh, obviously uh, all the uh, amenities in terms of sound system and TV. The uh, timber trim throughout the boat is excellent and uh, as I mentioned before that's part of the uh, New Zealand component. L-shaped galley, um, very good stove uh, with oven, uh, Corian bench tops, plenty of storage, full size sink, you know it just goes on and on. Great fridge freezer, so as good as you'd expect at home and this obviously uh, also uh, promotes the fact that the boat would uh, offer a very good liveaboard opportunity. Now the Sky Lounge as we see here is quite a unique area and it's absolutely fabulous. Great as a day bed, you know, for the afternoon nap, but also fantastic as an overnight berth. Um, the owner's kids say they love it, and you can understand why. You're literally sleeping under the, uh, the moon and the stars. Now, we're in the forward cabin here, and again, um, the uh, timber fit-out is, uh, or the quality of the timber fit-out, I should say, is readily evident, um, with the nice uh, timber inserts throughout. Massive bathroom and a full shower base. So this is uh, really a very, very good feature and it is one of the nicest bathrooms we've seen in a boat uh, of uh, this size. Okay, we're heading aft now, so uh, a few easy steps up into the saloon, but on the starboard side, the guest cabin or second cabin, which is a very large size double berth. Again, a full bathroom. Both bathrooms are fitted with electric toilets. Um, and uh, again, the finish of the boat is out of like lovely polished timber floors and uh, I've got to say too, the vision out of this uh, area is exceptional. Um, you're really sitting at an ideal level and um, you get full vision all around um, with uh, this area. Now the other great feature uh, we believe is the high bulwark. So not only have you got really good side access around the boat, but the bulwarks give you a real feeling of security. So great for uh, the smaller members of the family or just working around the boat if you're in a bit of a seaway. So uh, very well thought out. The, um, the, the extension for the uh, anchors also too is very well designed. There's uh, good provision for two separate anchors and they're not tripping over each other like you see on many other boats. So heading up now on, oh, some of that four deck area could be used as an ideal uh, sun lounge type of situation. Um, and this gives you another perspective of the side decks and the very high wall walk. So great, uh, great feature of the boat. Now we're back into the aft deck area and we're into the engine room. So th this really is immaculate. We don't use that term lightly. The, um, the motors are Cummins Diamond Series 450 horsepower. So there's twin motors. They haven't done a lot of work. Um, they provide the boat with a very comfortable cruising speed of, of nine knots and very ob economical obviously at that speed. And the boat will do uh, in excess of 17 knots. But um, we, we can't talk highly enough of the engine room. I mean, it's even got separate start controls down here. So if somebody's working on the motors, they don't need to be going up and down to uh, another area to turn the motors on and off. So very, very well thought out. Fuel filtration systems here are very, very good um, and very, very easy to observe. So uh, any issues can be easily picked up. Now, nice cockpit. And uh, then we head up to the um, the flybridge area which is a great area too. I have to say the steps up are very easy they're not like the ladders you've seen a lot of other boats and this is a fantastic area so uh, we've got a wet bar area there excellent helm station and this boat also features quite a unique stabilizing system it costs in excess of forty thousand dollars but really it means the boat can be um, stabilized in uh, the most aggressive seaways. Uh, it's also a fantastic entertaining area, but also a great area for the rest of the team um, when underway to be with the helmsman. Nice area aft there, so um, great entertaining. Also, it just extends the flybridge uh, or it can be used for um, on deck storage. Um, we're really very pleased to offer Orion. It, ex it represents exceptional value at the price we have it. We don't believe it'll last long, particularly in this market. Please get in touch to organise an inspection.